Hey guys, it's me doing a quick layout update. Don't have too terribly much to show, so this shouldn't take too terribly long. First of all, kitty, when the lights go down on the kitty. <laughs> yeah, she has this weird little thing where she, being a six-year-old cat, likes to nurse on a duck. Busted! <laughs> okay, but yeah, I've done a few things recently. Um, now let's do my Southern Pacific. I'll get to that later. Um, I've I printed off like these little NS decal thing or what's it off the internet. If I could find some, I'd show you. But they actually have the correct NS font, so I cut out a 6, 3, and a 0, 2 and put it on this side. I didn't get around to doing it on this side, though. Yeah, there. And then I got, um, I renumbered 3472 is now 3424. I've got the patch back on 3369. Dang, where my other freaking Jivo go? Oh yeah, I found a horn. I think that actually might be a... No, that can't be a P5. But it's a K5 something. I'm not really sure what. But yeah, I've got new decals on 7629. Looks a lot better than it used to do. Believe me, it looks a lot better off camera. At the moment, it actually looks just about as good as 76 or 7574, except 7574 was painted recent, more recently. It just has a flat out better paint job. And for whenever the heck I get around to putting decals on this thing, I've already patched out this one. Seeing how 84 and Conrail or X Conrail 8460 is has the most recent picture still on an S. 6616 6, has um, pictures from about the mo the same about amount of time only it was in an S at the time. 6460 60 was like the last to, to go apparently. So if I ever get around to getting decals for that, oh you know, there you have it. It'll, uh, it'll be 8460. <sighs> What else? I've also created this small little scene right through here. As y'all can see, I got just a few trees, some modeling clay dirt, these little green tufts. Hang on, let me find it. Oh yeah, here it is. Came off of this little thing or this thing. Just peel off the little tufts, stick them right on. The bushes are made out of um, missing clumps from the tr these trees just fell out of the tree huh. so yeah well there used to be two bushes I stuck the other bush in the, this tree now I'm not really sure where it went I think this might be it no I mean, there it is and there you go and the yellow little stuff that you see is actually a really cool trick I like took a rope Cut off, cut off about half an inch of it, flay it all up, it'll cover an area from about there to there. I'm sure if you're trying to cover an enormous area with it, this that you might want to consider mass doing that, like doing like a whole bunch of snips and then unfluttering all of them at the same time, but yeah. Um, and last but not least, I'm getting on to one of my next projects. I'm not sure how many of y'all have seen um, a YouTube user at EMD SD14R. He has some great videos. You should check him out. But, but yeah, he has like all these like little custom like rebuild engines like the, the SD14, the GP14. I think he's, he's even in the process of painting like a GP42M, I think. But I decided I'd try and do something like that, so... I'm using my Southern Pacific. I'm going to turn it into an SD42-3.
All right, here is a homemade P5 R24 horn, although it's been smashed up a bit. Got AC in and off of old 8324. It's somewhere in that drawer. Got a side mounted bell. There's going to be a little vent right there. There's also like these little round push pins that I have. I'm going to stick one of them into that hole, although I accidentally glued this a little too far over than I intended originally. I'm also going to cut out this middle fan. As you can see, I'm working on a, a new rear anti climber. This being in dash 3, I have like so the front like normal and the back is a dash 2 anti climber, so I just secure that on. Might have to lengthen this part out that holds the coupler in, although this thing never really had couplers. I seen it off where the old bigger bajig used to be, the old um, horn. And there's also going to be a little box right here, so the walk walkway will be raised slightly for the first little bit. And I just knocked off the bell, but oh well. Here, let me shake that up. Okay. On the front, I'm probably going to end up sealing up this top headlight. It's going to be nose headlight. Might even add some homemade ditch lights down there. Hmm, what else? Hmm. I might add a few other little random details like uh like piping. I have like a I'm gonna have some pipes that go through here like that. Oh well that actually stuck. Oh well. There we go. <laughs> but yeah. That's about it guys. Thanks for watching. See ya.